I don't see it. I don't I don't translate it as him saying the hell with the fans because it's just it just it has to do with the fact of his situation with his contract with the WWE and that really that's the major factor is 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 what happened. That was ugly. It was really ugly and and it really upset him. I mean, you got to look at it as a guy that grew up in the industry and then you don't get a phone call from your your father wishing you happy birthday on a special oh. day. Just use that as an example. You know, but I mean, what you're saying is is there's truth to it. I'm not saying that. Oh, what you're saying is completely baloney. I mean, there's truth to it. You're absolutely right. It, there, these wrestlers get stereotyped in Hollywood, but the reality is, The Rock is a perfect example of someone stepping from the wrestling world getting into Hollywood. And again, it's all about the money. At the end of the day, you know, you're getting paid seven to ten million dollars a film, a film. You know, you okay. you'll be lucky you well, make me, that in one year. Ask, let me ask you this: the rocks The Rock's been gone from wrestling for for years now, right? Years. Now there's 300. I know I know the man's got a busy schedule, right? But there's 365 days in a year, and you're telling me? I mean, they would they would accept they would. I am sh- I am sure that they have tried to get him to come in for a one time appeal. He did the he Hall did. of Fame thing last but I year. Sh- Hall of Fame, exactly. <laughs> yeah, the Hall. Of- yeah, he came and did that. But I mean, as far as a, as far as a, I mean, he was there in the Hall of Fame to be inducted. As far as coming back and acknowledge, you know, acknowledging the fans on on a Raw or on a SmackDown or on a on a on a weekly televised show. There is no excuse why this guy. Well, there is an excuse because he's like you said, he's stereotyped in Hollywood. But there's, I mean, I just, I, I feel, I feel both ways. I feel both ways because I know how Hollywood feels about wrestling, and I know how they feel. You know, I know how wrestlers get stereotyped in Hollywood. So it's either, it's either, do I go and make movies or do I come back? Yeah, I mean, we could argue, we could we could debate this all day. You know what I mean? But I just I feel that for a company that made The Rock who he was, there is no excuse why he hasn't made one or two or three appearances a year, similar to what Steve Austin does. Steve Austin will come in, he'll come out on Raw, maybe he'll do an angle, maybe he'll give somebody a stunner here and there. And Steve's still making movies. He's out there doing movies. You know what I mean? Yeah, but it's they're different. They're different roles. I mean, now you're looking at a wrestler that has moved away from it. I mean, he did the first three years when he retired or went to Hollywood. He made his role appearances. He made oh, I can't. You know, this feels great. It, you move on. Did you know, he? Did he, and, and then and, he and came. To me, I'm not taking that personal. I'm not, I have no personal grudges with the guy. If the guy doesn't want to huh. show up on Raw, he doesn't want to show up on Raw. It doesn't make me change my mind thinking that oh, he. You know, he. he He's neglecting us. I don't feel that way. He's just he simply moved on. And then for a guy who was made, for a guy who was made on Raw, right? And then he goes to Hollywood, right? And then he goes out to Hollywood. And then just as as of a couple years ago, right? He did an interview, and he backtracks on this now. He did an interview where he stated, "I no longer want to be called The Rock. I want to be called Dwayne." Johnson, okay, and that was a couple years ago, and now he just did an interview a couple weeks ago or last week or something where he says, you know, I tried to change that, I tried to get rid of the rock, and you know, it, it, I mean, people are just gonna they're gonna call me the rock, so it's not worth even even trying to change. But for a guy that goes out and says, yeah, I want to get rid of the rock name, I want to go Dwayne Johnson. I mean, that is a guy that strictly wants to go to Hollywood, wants nothing to do. With pro wrestling, that's just my feeling. A guy that doesn't well, I mean, want they, they to ask him, and I, I know what interview you're talking about. They, what they asked him was, "Are you still known as The Rock?" And 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 his response was, "I'm promoting myself and marketing myself as Dwayne Johnson, as who he is." Yeah. Um, but he still goes by. People still come up, and and that's fine. But for marketing purposes, you got to understand too is, The Rock is owned by the WWE. They just gave him a lifetime license for it. You, uh-huh. you know, so they're still the, the WWE still owns the brand, the 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 marketing so brand. They, if they still own it, right? And everybody looks at this guy when his when his photos up on a they call TMZ. Him. He, he said he called you earlier today. Huh? That's the message. Did you get it? Oh, your phone. Uh, your I phone. Was, 
Your phone went bug-eyed again. <laughs> I don't know what the heck was that. <laughs> that was weird. You got another caller on the line that he didn't hang up or something? <laughs> uh, oh, maybe it was. Maybe it was a caller, man. I don't know. Maybe it was. It was that going. But no, no, no. For the, uh, what were you? What was? I just had a great point that I was going to bring up. What we're saying about the rock and intellectual property that the WWE owns. Oh, intellectual, yeah, 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 intellect, and where he said, uh, I mean, honestly, we could we could go back and forth, go back and forth all day on the uh, on the on the rock. I just think I think he could have done he could have done he he still can do more for for the wrestling fans, a group of fans that built it. And when you look on TMZ dot com or you look on uh you know, just celebrity gossip websites, and you see a picture of him, what's the first thing that comes? Hey, that's The Rock. That's The Rock. You're not saying well, he's hey, that's Dwayne no Johnson. The Rock. There's no doubt yeah. about it. I mean, well, Dwayne Johnson well, okay. sounds stupid. Well, where did he get that? Where did he get that name? He got, he got it in wrestling. Rock. In wrestling. Sure. So then go back and give something back to the fans. If you got your start, you know what I'm saying? Go back. Yeah, but he's just me. not going to continue going back to it. He came back to it for the first three years, and then, like, he hasn't appeared on on wrestling. I mean, don't get me wrong. I would I would be the first one to mark out if I hear his theme music even start on on, on Monday Night Raw. Oh you no know, doubt, I, you know, I, no I, doubt. It would be awesome. I would love to see that. I would love to see it. But then at the same time, I'm not gonna fry the guy because he wants to go to Hollywood and make an identity on on himself on Dwayne Johnson and not so much of The Rock. And I don't consider him forgetting that you know what got him there in the first place was pro wrestling. Because at the end of the day, what got him there was himself. He's the one that well, played the, the well, rock role. He's the one that, that worked the mic. He's the one that made the appearance. He's the one that sold the matches. You know, well, the WWE just rock, gave him the opportunity to, to if, do it. If The Rock got to where he was today, which we agree, which we agree upon, he got to where he is today with WWE, I don't see any excuse why that he can't come back in like a Steve Austin role. Now, I'm not saying week to week. I'm saying once or twice a year, one, two, three times a year, we could come, make a cameo, cut a cut a brief promo in the ring, something, something, but nothing, nothing at all. Oh man, I think you know. I, I mean, think there's any. I, I think any wrestler that his, in his caliber and his position would do the same thing. I think if they blow up in Hollywood, they would do the same thing. They 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 simply have to. They'll just simply move on. I mean, who who was it? Uh, not Kali. Um, oh, forgot. Uh, you know, Nathan I Nathan Nathan Jones tried it. Nathan well, Jones. Well, Nathan Jones, there. but I'm thinking of the other gentleman that that came into WWE. Simply, and he even said it. I just wanted wrestling to be a stepping stone into into a, into the movie business, but that didn't work out because he got fired. Um, I just it's. Oh, I can't think of it at the top of my head. Um but yeah, um, somebody so if you guys in the uh if you guys in the uh in the chat room know uh who Jose is talking about, um let us know. That was a good debate, Jose. That was good, man. I like that. I like debates, man. I like when I can get into it with you here. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> makes for good radio, baby. Makes for makes for good radio. People in the chat say this is good radio, so that's always a good thing. Hey, hey, we uh, let's see if we can't change the subject uh, a little bit. We have who do we have? Who do we have? We have a caller from North Georgia. Is it? I think. I think. Caller, you're live on WZR Radio. What's uh, what's on your mind? Georgia, North. Georgia. Georgia. Mm-hmm. Georgia. Georgia. Going right what's now the, Georgia. The, uh, isn't there a, a theme out of Georgia? Georgia. No one was there. Even the, the Oh, there it goes again. There it goes. Screw it. Hey, we have uh, WWE fan kiddo from the chat room. You're live on WZR radio. You're on WZR online. He hung up on me. The dude and hung up on me. Got nervous, man. Got nervous. Let's uh, be let's, take another, <laughs> let's take another one. Let's take a uh, a guest. The guest number one twenty eight from the chat room. What's uh, what's on your mind, man? Hey, uh, I have one question. I was just wondering, where, where do you think they're gonna go with um, Shawn Michaels and the Undertaker? Because I don't know if they should have Shawn Michaels break the streak or if they should have the Undertaker keep his streak until he, maybe he retires or something. Uh, Shawn's uh, Shawn's not gonna be the one. That ends Taker's streak at Mania. Taker's, um, he's going to be around for at least another year. Um, after this, you know, this isn't going to be his big retirement at WrestleMania this year. Um, I know Jose, you know, I don't, 
you don't believe that streak's ever going to end. And um, I got to I gotta kind of agree with that. I don't think it'll ever end. I think he goes out on top, undefeated at WrestleMania. And if he does, if he, uh, if he does lose, it'll be – 